control system for the uh, control design. This is two electrical enclosures. This enclosure contains the PLC and all the uh, in operator, indicator lights, instruments, and all the control for the system. This other enclosure here is a power enclosure for the power supply and the EDI modules and for your connection to your EDI fuel pump, which will deliver water to the air. You can start with the, making the electrical connections to the box, and the boxes. Both enclosures are equipped with disconnect handles, so in order to operate, or open the enclosure, get inside for maintenance and service, this has to be an off position. When you're operating the equipment, to operate the equipment, yeah, and lock the panel, you put it on the off position, you open the box up. You can bring in three phase, 380 volt, 50 hertz power into the top of this main circuit breaker right here. Three leads to the top, and then a ground you can put here on this ground terminal. This is a 40 amp breaker, so a 40 amp service here is adequate. In addition to the power supply into this panel, you will have to make some connections for some closures. I have some here that I've just simulated for, for demonstration purposes. Again, like with the case of the RO system, the design is for two floats, a high high in the top of your product tank and a high a little bit down from the high high. The idea being that when the tank is full, both switches are closed, and then when the water level drops, the top float opens, the system doesn't restart until the second switch opens, then the system will restart. When the second switch fills up, the system will continue to run until both switches are made. So when the tank is full, the system will stop. The system will restart after both switches are open to eliminate any bouncing in the floats and sudden starts and stops in the system. You will connect your float switches to your 24 volt common positive 24 volts DC, and then one lead for the high switch, which is, excuse me, the high high, which is the top switch in your tank, terminal 40. The high switch, which is the lower of the two switches, terminal 41. And then those two connections here, down on the terminal strip. The power, three phase, 380 volt, 50 hertz, to the top and then start to break it. Over on this panel, you got two connections to make here also. Put the disconnect off so you can open the box. Over here, you just move this wire all the way for now. You're going to bring your power with these power supplies into the top of this main circuit breaker. This is 80 amp service, 380 volts, 50 hertz, 3 thick. Bring that there. You've got ground terminal here for grounding. You will also then connect the power connections to your EDI feed pump, which will again be with three phase, 380 volt, 50 hertz power. You're going to connect the three leads to terminal 17, 18, and 19 in the bottom right here. Connect those your pump three leads to that and your fourth wire to ground. You're bringing four, four wires to three legs of your three phase power plus one ground. 17, 18, 19 for the pump and the ground. Three phase. 380 volt, 50 hertz, at the top of the main circuit breaker. This is 80 amps, so those are the only two connections you need to make to this box. Good. Ready? Now you've made all your electrical connections, made all your plumbing connections, familiar with the operation of equipment, ready to run the system. Running the system is pretty straightforward. You've got three operating switches on the front panel. The first one, your EDI feed pump on. That's how the control from this system. Second is to operate the EDI system itself, both predominantly energizing the DC power supplies that are in the And thirdly, you have an on-off power switch with control power to the PLC and all the other devices inside. So first of all, we have to turn the power on. So put this, move this switch, you can switch from off to on power will come on. White light indicates that you have two 
220 volt power to the system. Inside the box is a transformer to take your 380 volt three-phase power and convert it into 220 volt single-phase power. The 220 volt single-phase power is only used for two things. One, to power the DC power supply inside. All the control voltage, all the lights, everything are 24 volt DC. The other is the control module to control the power supply here needs to be 20 volts AC. Now let's say it takes 
starts to fill up. First, the lower switch will close. I close the lower switch. Then the tank bubble continues to rise, rise, rise. Finally, the high switch, which we call the high, high, closes. You'll see now that the blue light comes on, indicating the tank is full, and you'll see the green lights go off because the system is stopping, and now the valve is closed. The pump has already been stopped, the power supply has already been stopped, indicated by these two green lights, and now the valve is closed. The system is sitting here completely stopped. Now, let's say the tank, the DI water tank, starts to go, the level starts to drop. First, the high level switch will open. Now, that switch is open. If you notice, the blue light is still on, the system is still stopped. As it goes below the higher switch, it gets down to the lower switch, and finally this switch opens. Now you will notice the blue light goes off, the valve is opening. After 10 seconds, the green light for the feed pump will come on. After 10 more seconds, the EDI power supplies will be energized, the system will be running again. Ten seconds.